Alright, so in this episode we're going to take a look at getting some free CSS to style our site using like a bootstrap sort of theme. Well, it is a bootstrap theme. So I'm going to first of all check out a branch here. I'm going to say git checkout. So i got to make sure my cursor's in there. So I'll try that again. Git checkout dash b and I'm going to call this style like that. And now what I'm going to do is show you this boot swatch site. Pretty cool site for some um, basic themes. I've got a whole bunch of themes here and I've chosen this Yeti theme. I think it'll work. It's got the black uh, nav bar. It saves us a lot of time and, and styling stuff. Like these are our flash messages. They look a little bit cooler than what we had and all that. So what you do to grab this particular style, if you want to use this one, is you go here to this Yeti dropdown. I'm going to go to bootstrap.css. In here, I'm just going to select everything. It's quite a big file. Copy that. Go back to your app. Go to App, Assets, Style Sheets. And in here, we're going to make a new file. And I'm going to call this Yeti dot css.scss okay double enter there on that to get that to open paste in our css and then go to the application css.scss and then what we want to do is just copy what's above here and say at import space and then put the quotes in there and i'm going to say yeti now I got to go outside of that last quote and add a semicolon. So it looks like it does just up here. Make sure you save your file. And then I got to go back here and save this one. I didn't save that. There we go. Now, if we reload our site, we should have the Yeti look. Look at that. So our drop down is all nice and uh, black like that. And Everything's looking good. If I go to sign up, let's just see what this looks like, or sign in, sign up, whatever, and I click sign up, let's just see what our error message looks like. Okay, so that's happening, and that's basically it. Actually, while we, yeah, we're going to change this, but we got to use, uh, let's do that right now in this video. What the heck? Um, I'm going to go down here to views. And then we go to layouts, nav, and this is the link that's being displayed on our home page up here, okay, on the top left. And I'm going to change this up. We're just going to delete this whole bit of code here. Let's say delete. If we want to type in the less than symbol, percent equals link to underscore two. And then in quotes, we're going to say, I'm going to put Steve's articles. And then what we have to do there after that is go outside the quote, put a comma in and say root underscore path. And then put another comma and say class colon. And then in quotes, we're going to say nav bar hyphen brand and then outside of the quotes again and we're going to say percent greater than symbol and now that we've got that make sure you save it and then go back to your site refresh there we go so now whenever i click this it's going to bring me to the home page Okay, so we've got some styling and we've updated our title and I think that's good enough for right now. We'll just keep plugging away, guys. Thanks a lot. Listen.